Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures for more point-and-click adventure game action. We are back oh, where we left off. And so am I. We're in the cellar and we're trying to get Duncan McBiscuit's memories back. Um, I think I know what I've got to do. We're going to head back upstairs. We're going to get these stupid little dogs dressed up in a ridiculous costume again to get rid of them. And then I think we've got to figure out the springs so that the toy will get stuck on them on the mattress so let's give it a go help me pick another outfit granite yeah i will um put Can this I on see? them uh put this on them hopping yeah lovely and put this Sweet. on them yeah that that's definitely the right thing to do Down. nice choice Would you will take you away. it's dress up time my darlings Right, okay. Don't fuss, sweeties. You can go back upstairs in a minute. Right now, I need you to sit still. Yeah, sit still and stay there, you stupid dogs. Right, let's go upstairs. As you can tell, I don't like these dogs very much. They're not like Grummet, are they? Right. So, did we say it was the spring down at the bottom of the bed? I think we did, didn't we? That one, I'm guessing? Let's try that. Uh, and then what we want to do is hide here again, I think. Right, they're back. Okay, so let's press the button again. And hopefully the spring where it is now will catch the bone. Stupid little bone toy. Yes! Okay, excellent. We did it. Aha, take that, you stupid little dogs. Uh, should we go out the window? I'm going to go out the window. I guess I could have gone down the slide, but I'm going to go this way so that the stupid dogs can't bump into us at the door or something. So let's head in this way. We'll take the secret entrance. Right, Duncan, does this jog your memory at all? That's it! The sound of the toy! Ha <laughs> there we now go. I remember. Go on, then what happened? Oh, I kept the toy and shut the wee doggies doing the slide. <laughs> Lovely. I didn't like that one bit neither. <laughs> Not really surprised. I was having a grand time. I wanted a wee picky to remember by, so I went down to that photo thingamajig. I struck a manly pose and I was... I was... Oh, Crivens, it's all fading away. I'll be forgetting my own name next. Right. Don't get yourself in a twist, love. It'll come back to you. Okay, we've already seen that photo, haven't we, in the last episode when we were snooping around I in the living room. I just can't remember. So let's head back up then, and we'll get that photo down off the board. Because there were two of him in, weren't there? I'm guessing it's the one where he's in the same suit as he's in now. Like his little swimming costume thing. Mankini. Yeah, that's the one, the pose. I guess it's the pose and not that with the candy floss. He can't seem to get over me. Poor boy. Uh, can we not? His holiday didn't turn out quite the way he planned, did it? Can we not get it down? Can we scrape it off of this? I'm guessing not. Huh. Okay, I thought we'd be able to just take it down, but apparently we can't. That's odd. I'm not sure why the toast would work. Unless we've got to take a picture of ourselves doing that. He can't seem to get over me. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Maybe we've got to do one of ourselves? Alright, it wasn't that one. It's this one. Uh, okay. Can we do it now? <clears throat> Let's see what this does.
All right, maybe that'll count as a manly pose. I don't know. Did it replace? Yeah, replace the picture of us. You we can't take it. He really shouldn't eat that. He has such a sweet tooth. Hmm. Yeah, look, these are almost look like it happened one after each other. Oh, puppets. Someone took their toy. I wonder why we can't take it down. His holiday didn't turn out quite the way he planned, did it? Maybe I'm approaching this from the wrong angle then. I, I don't know. He said about doing the pose for the photo. I thought we'd be able to just take the photo and show it to him, but maybe not. Let's speak to him again. Right. What exactly happened, Duncan? Explain it again. I'll take a wee photo and doing something. Oh, I need you to stay good. Don't fret now. It'll come back. Unless he's talking about... I was posing in that photo taker contraption. I, I had a, a... Oh, I have a clue. Oh. Did you have a book? No, it was something else. Right, was it this? So maybe he is talking about My this one. Just hit this a bagpipes bladder. That's right. Right, okay. Go on. I was taking a picky, holding a stick of candy floss. Oh, I love that stuff, me. I got my hunger up. Just then, like an answer to my prayers, the gong sounded for supper. I came to table, and there I found heaven, my lovely lass, Felicity. I remember the fine, sweet smell of her, like... She smelled like... Right, that's gonna be... Oh, blast it all! My nose is a blank! I cannot recall! Give it time, love. You'll remember. That's going to be the flowers from the garden, isn't it? That's it. Yes. Sweet scent right, we're on a roll. Felicity. How could I forget? I remember. I remember everything now. I'm cured. You've cured my ham knees. Ham knees. You cured me, and and I oh, were a right numpty wee, you, weren't I? Still are, I reckon, but don't go weepy on me now. Tell me what happened after you sat down to supper. I was making a toast when the lights went it. My eyes were adjusting to the dark when... Thump! <gasps> who thumped you? The dogs. Oh, I never saw who, but I saw what. The supper gong mallet! That's ah. what hit me! The supper gong mallet? You sure, Chuck? Sure? Oh, I. Look! Look what it did to me! <laughs> me, that's a crime, that is. No wonder your mind's been a blank. <gasps> They've got what it! What kind of person would do that? They should be locked up. You go back to sleep now, love. Get some rest. Okay, so they've got it. Well, we know what happened now. We know the story. They smacked him over the head with the supper gong mallet. So we know what the weapon is. We know what the weapon is. We know the motive. Where are they taking it? Right, they're taking it in the living room. <gasps> They're stashing it in there. That's an extra fluffy bat. Can't do any harm to trade up. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> so he's oh, taken it. Crikey, it's heavy. Must be family size floss. So we're going to have to get it off him then. How are we going to do that? It's only you, Gromit. For a moment, I thought... Uh, well, never mind. I'm sorry, lad, but if you want some candy floss, you'll have to get your own. I'm rather... attached to mine. Oh, yeah, how did we get him to... 
to put it down, it was to do with the, the constable, wasn't it? We got the constable to question him and he put the candy floss down. Okay, we're, we're on a roll here now. This is starting to come together quite nicely. I guess by investigating quite a bit before. Three little suspects. One of them's got to be the thumper. Yeah, so I guess by investigating quite a lot earlier on. You can do this, Ernest Dibbins. We actually got a lot of the info we needed. Um, can you interview Mr. Paneer again? What is it, boy? Hmm, maybe this time I'll get some sense out of him. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, right, let's follow him in. And we'll get him to put... He, he'll make Mr. Paneer put down the candy floss. And put that candy floss down while I'm interviewing you, if you please. Yes. I'll ask you again, and this time I want a straight answer. Did you or did you not thump Duncan McBiscuit? Did you not? I mean, you did not. <laughs> uh, that is to say, me, not you. I mean, I mean, not you, me. Right, but can we me. switch I these? Didn't, did you? No. Can we just take it then? Yeah, apparently we can just take it. Yes, we got the murder weapon. I've heard quite enough, thank you. That's enough, I said. Phew. What happened to my little friend and protector? I'll have to spin up another. Yeah, you do that. Because I've got the murder weapon now. Well, it's not a murder weapon, is it? <laughs> no one's been murdered. I keep saying a murder weapon. <laughs> it's a Wallace and Gromit game. There's no murder taking place. I've got the assault weapon, is what I'll call it. I mean, it's not even that, is it? I mean, it left a... Three little suspects. One of them's got to be the thumper. You're wrong. It's actually the dog. It's got to be one of these three. But which one? So we've got the motive. Ah, the motive. Likely to be some physical object. I remember a case a few years back where the motive was a turnip with two blokes claiming the growing rights. Sounds terrible. So we just need the witness. Who mm, saw it? Yes, the witness. Likely to be a person. Your vegetables and minerals don't generally have much to offer in the way of witnessing. So, who saw it? That's the question. Possibly Major Crumb? Do you sense something, boy? Yes, I'll have a little chat with the Major. Perhaps he knows something he doesn't know he knows. Because that makes sense. Okay, so what we've got to do now is um, figure out who the witness is. Well, he did say he saw something, didn't he, Major Crumb? He, saw he, saw, he said he saw spies, but obviously we know that's not true. And if you don't believe me, I invite you to inspect the evidence. <gasps> Are you having a laugh? Enough questions. We're wasting time. The spies could be signaling their ship. If they give away our position, we're done for. <sighs> All right. Yes. Fine. So tell me what these so-called spies of yours looked like. Don't mind if I do. It was dark. Dark as darkened room. Then the door cracked open and I saw them. Swarthy little men with sunken eyes and primitive tattoos dragging Duncan's limp body. Sailors, judging by their uniforms, natives of the South Seas, I'd say. Stake my reputation on it. Did they look like this? No, no, no. Eyes more sunken with heavy brows. That's better. Add nautical tattoos round their necks, and don't forget the uniform. There we are. A hint more menace. Just a hint now. Yes, now you've got it. Those are the villains I saw. Right, so this is what they look like, eh? Post that picture to every Jack Tar in the Navy. We've got to stop them before they make landfall. That's just what I'll do. Can we see that? <gasps> The man means well, but he's a couple of bricks short of the full hod. 
Oh, I wonder if that's part of like the dress up set that they they wear from the box because obviously the hat matches, doesn't it? So, can we have this? Want to see your private? Yeah, apparently we can. This reminds me of the time I was cooped up in a chicken coop south of <laughs> What? My company was pinned down for three days. His Nothing face. to eat but a single croissant and a rotten egg. Have I told you the story, Private? Yeah. They were the best of times. <laughs> or was it the worst of times? I can't recall. Escape. Escape. Okay, good. We've managed to escape. So, I wonder then if... Let's have a look at this picture, shall we? Because I think this picture is going to involve the dress-up kit. So, nautical things... These type of glasses, the hats... Right. Uh, can we... Hang on, why can't we use it? Or can we? Yeah, we can. Help me pick another outfit, Gromit. Okay. Um, can we... Wait, what's happened here? Oh, they're wearing it already. Uh, can we wear this hat? That won't do without the other sailor hat. Oh, well, I've got the other one here. Because your dogs dropped it when they did the thumping. Oh, oh, you found it. Good boy. Now Poochie Woo and Tinky we can play sailor again. Yeah, like they did when they did the thumping. Uh, right, so let's have a look at this picture then. So it was the sailor hats, the like round glasses. Uh, where are these round glasses? Is it these ones? No, it's these ones I think, isn't it? Your very latest. Aye, aye, Captain. And this. Jaunty. This is going to be such fun. Hoochie woo. Tinky wee. So what do it's we do now? It's time, my darlings. Anything we can do, or? Aren't you cute? Yes, you are. Now, run along and play. Right, so it looks like they're wearing I've it. I've outdone myself, haven't I? I can't imagine a cuter outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So do we now have everything we need? Because we've got the witness, who's Major Crumb. We've got the motive. We've got the weapon. So do we... Do we go for it? Coming, lad. Extra data for the deductomatic to process. All right. Well, here's a clue. Do we give him the clues? Oh, is that a clue, lad? Yep. I'm sure it'll come in handy later. But right now, I need to get me deductomatic working. Oh, okay. So we're gonna have to turn it on. Let's plug it in then. Eureka! I've got it! Yeah, sure once again. This time, Mr. Willis, you did I'll it. summon the suspects. Okay, so we're ready to summon the suspects right. now. You have accused Felicity's diminutive dogs of thumping Duncan McBiscuit. To prove it, you need a motive, a weapon, and a witness. Where do you want to start? I will start with the motive. And the motive is... Can you rustle up a motive, man? Uh, yep. Take this. The motive is... This chew toy. Really? The pups are very attached to that toy. I know from bitter experience. That's right, they are. Of course they are. Mr. Squeaky was a present from their mumsy. That doesn't make it a motive for hurting Duncan, though. Oh, yes, it does. Duncan stole the toy from them doggies. Told me so himself. Exactly. He did. Oh, he did. If Mr. McBiscuit did indeed take their favourite toy, that could well be a motive for thumping. It is. Why would Duncan want to take Mr. Squeaky? The 
very idea is ridiculous. Ridiculous? Possibly. But on the balance of probabilities, spot on. I believe this motive meets the test of the law. Yes. You're on the way to proving your case, Wallace. All right. You know the motive? What's next? Okay, the weapon. Of course. Now we'll get the facts. Get what facts? Uh, the weapon. I've determined the weapon. Well done. Tell us what, um, what you podge in Winky T <laughs> used to thump Duncan. He always gets the name wrong. Crunchy Frog. Well, out with it, man. Uh, um, just a moment. Do you have anything resembling a weapon, lad? I could use one sharpish. Yeah, I have, funny enough. It's this, the mallet. The weapon is this mallet. Eee, you bang on the money this time, Wallace. I remember now. That's what it, Duncan, all right. He said so himself, and he's got the dent in his bonds to prove it. Exactly. It all makes sense now. That's a maladjusted mallet, all right. Maladjusted? What makes you say that? Well, it looked all fluffy and pink and delicious. But underneath it were rock hard. Not very <laughs> tasty. Uh, thank you, Mr. Paneer. It appears that the mallet is indeed our weapon. Well done, Wallace. Excellent. Two down. The case against uh, them two dogs is coming <laughs> together. All right, last the but not least. The only piece of the puzzle left is the witness. Yeah, and the witness was... Cracking. Now we'll know the truth. The truth about... What? Uh, the witness. I've identified the witness. Good show. Tell us who witnessed um, uh, uh, Tinky Woo and Podgy Wee assaulting Mr. McMiskey. <laughs> Tinky Woo and Podgy Wee. Well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Uh, who would you pick for a witness, lad? It was... Good old Major Crump. Oh, we can't give that to him. Fair enough. Well, let's find Major Crump. Where is he? My witness is Major Crump. Quite right. I saw him. It was black as pitch. The door cracked open, and I saw him dragging away the body. Here he goes. This is moment of glory. With sunken eyes and tattooed necks. Sailors from the South Seas. Spies. Spies from abroad. Not this again. I think we've heard enough. Wait, Major. Did your spies look like them too? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Good heavens. That's them, all right. I'd yes. recognise them anywhere. Put those spies in irons. Don't be silly. <laughs> Dogs of war, more like. Dogs of war. war. Oh, there is no war. What? All right, let's let sleeping dogs lie, shall we? <laughs> the main point is, the Major saw these two dragging away Mr. McBiscuit. Isn't that right, Major? It most certainly is. In that case, according to the law, he is a legitimate witness. Here we go, we've done it. Wallace, we've done it. You've shown us motive, weapon, and witness. And according to the powers vested in me as an officer of the law, I now pronounce the case solved. Yes. Duncan McBiscuit was thumped by a mallet because of a stolen Jew toy. The crime being witnessed by Major Crumb. The perpetrators of this evil deed were none other than the canine criminals, Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee. We got the names right as well. <laughs> It can't be. My darlings are precious, kind, insu-wincy doggies, not hooligan hounds. Yes, they are. I knew it. Wallace knew it. Would have been chains. Throw away the key. Batten down the hatches, cabin doors to manual. All in a day's detective work. You didn't do anything. Oh, I really do feel fit. Ooh. Oh, dear. 
Oh, the chew toy. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh, look, lad. The train must have come unplugged. That's oh no! Crazy. Oh, seems to have created a bit of a current. Chapter four, down the drain. Oh dear. Help, I've got that sinking feeling. We're all going down the drain. Uh oh down the drain okay then i think that's where we'll leave it for this episode guys because we are out of time so in the next one we're going to have to use these arrow keys to um save wallace from going down the drain um we'll have to figure that out but that is going to do it for this one so as always thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click on that like button it really does help the channel to grow so i do appreciate it Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.